I have a 13 year old son, right? And recently, I don't mean to put him on blast, but I'm gonna say this for the sake of the conversation because I think it's important. I took his phone away, you know, because actually it was a, it was a tester phone, and I saw that there were things that in his phone that he shouldn't be listening to. So I deleted everything and I took the phone away. And now we're we're working our way back to getting that that phone in place. I think that the the idea of you know our men underperforming, I I really think that it's more. Uh, case by case basis because it's not a general thing we put this microscope on it as and, and then we make it so broad that hey all men are like this when in reality um it's really not you do have men out there that are doing what they're supposed to be doing inside their their families inside their household you know is every family perfect absolutely not am i perfect no but at the end of the day i think that um you do have you know, men that is very, very minute, of course, or whatever, because you don't see it. But to your point, the imagery of what we see, what we consume, gives us the idea that this thing is actually happening. And I'm not saying that it's not. It is. But it's way bigger than, you know, it, we're, we're making it m way bigger than what it actually is, in my opinion. Hmm. So That's first, a good I, perspective. I, I apologize for stepping on your intro. I lost track because you skipped yourself. And I usually, always, I've never gone left to right. So that's that's all good. To give myself a little excuse because I stepped all over his intro. My That's bad. all good. I give you Gotta grace. I give you grace. I give you grace. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about um, what you listen to? I thought that was a great point. Yeah. yeah. Lyrics, melody, and rhythm. Emotion, yeah, rhythm affects. So lyrics affect the mind. Rhythm affects the will. And the melody affects the emotions. So think about it, right? We've all had heartbreak, right? When you mm. had that heartbreak... Who's, you know you putting on Mary J. Blige at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You I putting on Drake something on. that's going to, he puts on Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Lover boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, you, you're putting, Gada, on, Gada. You, you're putting on something that is going to, you know, that, it, that you're in that moment. Or if you go to the supermarket, for example, why does the supermarket play pop music all the time, right? To get you in the mindset of, hey, listen... Um, I want you to make sure that you get everything that you need because y'all know that you, as soon as you leave that supermarket, you ain't going back, right? So musically, things happen, you know, so that you can, so that you're able to uh, to move a, a certain way. Music kind of directs your your mind, your body, your spirit, mm. all that. I don't know. I mean, we just mentioned the whole Rihanna cover, and I think that every individual music artist, when yeah. they make their own things, um, they have their own lifestyle, you know. And it's about, you know, since it's a competitive market, like you're trying to just get the best music out there so that whatever the best music that's out there is going to be listened to the most. And that's what everybody's going to listen to. So then, boom, slap a picture of her on a cover of a magazine after the Super Bowl. And she's living her life with ASAP Rocky and he's carrying her baby and she's leading them in the beach. Like, that's the image that's going to be out there right now because she's what's you know, pop in right now and she's, you know, making the best music and all that. Do you mean when you, the type of music that you listen to, is there some sort of like scientific methodology be behind rhythms and beats and lyrics itself? Or yeah. is it mostly reflective of the artist that's sending it out and the fact that they're popular right now and putting <laughs> that and putting that, their music out there and that's what we're listening to? No, what I mean is like, all right, for example, um, I, I formerly I am a, a dancer by trade, right? So I used to uh, be in, in, in the hip hop scene, choreographing for artists and things of that nature, right? For example, as an artist, I there was a time where I may be going through something pretty crazy in my life. And I'm going to display exactly what that is and what I'm going through. So the music that I'm listening to, the music that I'm consuming, I'm actually yeah. going to be putting that out on stage. And not only that, I'm actually doing that in my regular daily life as well, too. It's actually going, you know, sorry about this. <laughs> it's going both <laughs> ways where not only am I doing it for my work and my art, I'm doing it in real life. And it wasn't... Um, something that I truly wanted to live. It wasn't my real character and who I wanted to really be. It was this music that I was consuming, so I had to delete it out of my life. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think... I talk to Kevin about this a lot, is even if you... Like, I'm a grown man now, so when I listen to new music. I try to stay up on new music just to, f like, feel current or whatever, right? When you hear toxic messaging, it affects you. Even yeah. even me does. with common sense and I know this stuff isn't real and blah, blah, blah. It, music affects you. Imagery affects you. All that stuff affects you. And, you know, 
Now I think it affects young minds more, though, right? So well, yeah, that's the thing, really right? Important. And but you have you have so many young minds that are misled in such a way, right? Yeah. We were just talking earlier that there's eight million homes in America that are right. single family. Seven million of them are ran by by women. One million by men. 